Is lifting weights actually healthy? On one hand, it's exercise, which is a good thing, but on the other hand, can it lead to injuries and joint problems and back problems? What's up everyone? Welcome to Baseline Barbell. My name is Nate, I'm a student physical therapist, and today we're breaking down whether or not lifting weights and resistance training in general is healthy or not. So first of all, what is resistance training? A quick Google search gives us a solid definition of the concept. Resistance training is any exercise that causes your muscles to contract against an external resistance with the expectation of increases in strength, power, etc. So it's exercise that works your muscles against some kind of load or tension. And most often, we think about this as being heavy weights at a gym, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. You can get this tension through weights, resistance bands, objects around the house, and even your own body weight. <laughs> But is this resistance training stuff even healthy? To answer this question, we're gonna look at something called a systematic review. A systematic review is where researchers take a bunch of studies and run some fancy calculations on them to try to answer a question. In this case, we wanna know if there are any health benefits to resistance training and what they might be. Luckily for us, this systematic review from 2019 looked at a ton of different health-related quality of life measures to try to answer this question. What's really cool about this review is that it also included a whole bunch of mental health and cognitive statistics as well as the physical ones. So it looked at how resistance training affected people's physical function, bodily pain, general health, mental and emotional health, and social function. And when you combine all these things together, you get a really good summary of a human's health and well-being which is what we're interested in. Because systematic reviews combine the results of lots of different studies, the results can often be anticlimactic. Some studies will show that something is effective and other studies will show that it's not effective. So the average will come out somewhere in the middle with the overall effectiveness being very small or non-existent. However, this isn't the case with our systematic review. The results are pretty clear when it comes to how resistance training affects people's physical and mental health. Let's start with physical health. This graph is a summary of the studies that looked at physical health measures. If a study falls on the zero line, it means that the study didn't show a significant positive or negative effect. If a study falls to the left, it means that it showed a negative effect and to the right, a positive effect. A quick look at this data can tell us whether or not resistance training has a positive or negative effect on physical health. And the results are pretty clear cut, with the average clearly to the right of the zero line. Several other plots that looked at physical health benefits will confirm this hypothesis. So outside of these fancy numbers and graphs, what does this actually mean? Well, it means that we can be confident that resistance training is quite beneficial to physical health. If we dive deeper into any of these studies, we can see more details about how resistance training is helpful for improving physical performance, joint health, fat loss, cardiovascular health, blood pressure, low back pain, and much more. And what about mental health? What's really cool is that we see almost identical results when looking at mental and emotional health benefits. Multiple measures conclude that there are definitely benefits to resistance training beyond just the physical ones. We see improvements in mental health, social and emotional well-being, cognitive abilities, and self-esteem. I don't know about you, but I think these are hugely overlooked benefits of resistance training. And it's important to note that this review only looked at adults over 50 years of age. There's tons of data that these benefits also apply to younger populations, but it's crucial to know that they apply to older adults just as well. The idea that lifting is just for people under 30 is flat out wrong. Sadly, resistance training still has tons of myths and misinformation surrounding it. There are still many people who believe that lifting or working out your muscles is inherently unhealthy. In reality, this couldn't be further from the truth. A regular resistance training routine is just maybe the single best thing that you can do for your physical and mental well-being at any age. If you don't have a routine yet or you're looking to get into resistance training, reach out to us and we'd be happy to help you get started. We also have some pre-made home workout programs on our website like our popular resistance band program and our home body weight program if you're interested. But the most important thing is that you find a routine that works for you. Again, you don't need a commercial gym with a bunch of heavy dumbbells and sweaty dudes. You can get all the benefits of resistance training right in your own home. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and we'll see you next week.